Hi everyone. So for this video, I'll be doing the London slang quiz, words quiz. Sorry. And those are the common words I would say they use more often. It's not necessarily curse words, but some of it is, but most of it is not. And you get, but some people call it Jafakan or roadman English or street. Well, some people speak street, let's say. It's like street slang. It's more abused in the black community, but other cultures have developed that use of the use of London slang words. But it's called multicultural London English, in case you don't know what it is. I might leave a link for some videos if you don't know. But mostly, it comes from, it most, you mostly hear people speaking in that type of tone, in that dialect, in places like Hackney or Tower Hamlets or Peckham, Tottenham, and so on and so forth. In my area, I don't. I feel people use it, but it's not that. Depends where. In my borough that I live in, I don't live too far from Hackney. I live in Islington. That's the borough I'm from, and I grew up in that borough. The northern part of Islington is kind of part of Hack East London, anyway. The where I live, because so it's common where I live. But some parts of Islington is not really that common because some of it is very middle class. And I don't come from middle class areas, working class. That's where I'm from. So. And more, and that's where, why I hear that dialect more in my area. Cause some people say they don't hear it in their area. Well, some people's area is less like where I live, basically. It's kind of... My own area is not too far to get into East London, to Hackney. So I only need a couple... I don't even need a bus ride to get there. So... And... and I grew up in Harringay, which is quite common... Depends in Harangay again. But most of Harangay does speak slang. Some people call it Jafakan, Roadman, Mandem, Geldem, or some other stuff. But I think because Cockney's dying out, I think it originates from Cockney, this type of language. But I will leave video in terms of the history of slang words in London. So all you need to do for this is guess the what the word means. So there are phrases that I'm going to teach you for this. I know it's not film or TV or anything related to what I do, but I just want to change it up slightly. So... This word is used often. So, bait. What does that mean in terms of London multicultural English? What do you think it means? You have to guess what it means. So, bait meaning obvious or simple. So, an example that I have here is Janice, you're so bait. So basically, this is used for a mistake that someone makes that could be seen as obvious, seen with the naked eye, and it's too hard to miss. So that's what the word bait means. Or if you're making yourself 
too seen or too noticeable that could be used as well like for this sentence as well because Janice made herself too seen or too noticeable it's actually made herself present without needing to be present or showing off too much so it could mean that as well so the next one is ends so this is another one we use in my area often people say that word So ends is the neighbourhood in which someone lives in. So it's part of where they live. It's basically the end, the area they grew up in. So for example, these are my ends. Cause, cause meaning like a friend or your friend, basically. That's what the word cause means. Or mate. People say cuz means cousin, but depends. It's not really used as that word in that way. It's more like a close friend. So basically it's more like territory. That's how people describe this word. That's how I would describe this word. It's more like someone else's area that you can't cross, you can't cross someone else's boundaries. So ends is like someone's area that they represent or they grew up in or they lived in all their life. It's like they're born and bred. So that's what that word means. So this one, this one's a classic in terms of slang words. And I want you to guess what that means before the answer is revealed. And it's that's one word I tend to use often when I describe something. So bear meaning a lot of something. So I got bad things going on in my mind. Well, I've got bare things going on in my... You can put things, like, to make it sound more street. But you can still say it like that. I've got bare things going on in my mind. And in terms of its use, I would say... I mean, it's used as a... Or bare meaning very. It can mean very, like, if you're very surprised. I'm bare surprised. Like, it can mean that as well. So it's mainly used to describe that something is overly done or overly or too much of or too, yeah, too much of. It's too much of something or someone's or someone or too much of. It's more about a thing than a person. Or you could say about someone's emotions that they're surprised, as I just mentioned. Jack. This is common. I think it's used in Cockney as well. Because some of this originates from Cockney as well. But I don't speak Cockney. My uncle's friend has... You speak Cockney. No, he's a Cockney, basically. He speaks in a dialect but I think Cockney is not really used anymore I guess I don't really hear people speak Cockney anymore because people are starting to speak proper English or standard English not the Queen's English it's my African family saying that I speak the African friends and family they tend to say that I was speaking in a posh like the queen's english and i'm like i don't even speak like that because the queen's english is basically posh 
high end. It's like the BBC version of English, or people call it received pronunciation, which is basically what it is. And that's what they use when you hear the news and that. So, Jack means to take or steal something. So, Jack, not the name Jack, but Jack to take or steal something. So, I have an example. This guy tried to jack my money. So, the guy... I mean, basically, it just use, it's used for someone that's stealing things and not asking for permission or taking something that doesn't belong to them, which is what stealing is, basically. Or jack camming you're copying. But I think we have a word for that. But people use it out of them. I think you're jacking my style, me. You're copying what I'm wearing. But there is another word called cat. Catting or cat. Cat means to copy someone. But jack can mean to copying your jack in my style, as I just said. Meaning you're copying as well. Peng. What do you think that word means? I know it does seem weird for those that don't speak the English that I speak or don't understand us. I think this one's a debatable one, but, you know, because there's more than one meaning for that. More than one meaning for it in terms of the definition of what it is the meaning of it so the answer is good looking and attractive so i got an example here you're looking peng today my g so basically this is used to talk about someone's appearance or someone's clothes Clothes is appearance. Or someone's style, like for example, some what they're wearing or how their their makeup looks, the girl's makeup looks or or something like that. But Peng is debatable. Some people think it means unattractive. That's what my uncle for it meant. But buff. Buff is similar to this word. Buff meaning but buff means more than that. Like Good looking, attractive, pain, that's what it means. But buff meaning something more. Like, buff meaning sexy, basically. That's what it means, if you want to know what it means. So, sexy meaning 10 out of. So, like times 11. That's what the word buff means. It's way more than pain. <coughs> Sorry. Yard. It's similar to, if you want the answer for this, I can't give you the answer until you answer this one, then I'll explain. The yard is quite used frequently. It's mostly Jamaican people that use it, Caribbeans that use this word. But other people do use it, but it's mostly from Carib those Londoners that speak of Caribbean dialects or with a Caribbean accent because my friends some of my friends are Jamaican and they use this word they say hey babes I'm, hey I'm going back to my yard I'll see you in a bit that's what they say so or some of them say hey babes I'm going back to my yard see you in a bit and all that stuff so so yard is someone's house it's similar to the word ends but ends is mostly about the area but yard is about the place you live in or the environment you're in it's more to 
territorial than the ants. But ants are still territorial. Territorial, but it's not about the inside of some the house itself. It's more about the area, the geographical location. And this is more about what's inside someone's house, where they live. So, um, an example is I'm chilling in I'm chilling at my yard. And pagan, which is one of my favourite slang words. So what do you think that means? It does look like a unique looking words for some people. So I don't think most people from different countries would know what this what this word means. You don't really hear people say it, but when you if you listen to grime, you may pick up on that word quite a bit. So if you listen to rappers like Stormzy or Dave or Dizzy Rascal, you will know this word. So So pagan means fake friends. So an example for this one is nah bruv, you're such a pagan. So basically you're implying that this person is not a true friend or they're just being a bit two-faced they're not true to them they're not the truest person or most authentic or real friends that you have (coughs) it could mean you're a traitor or some way because someone's betraying your trust that's what you call someone like that that they don't seem to care about your feelings or They don't seem to take your problems into consideration or your needs that you, or your needs into consideration for that matter. It's like these people should never be trusted because they will keep back chatting, gossiping, talking behind your back without any respect whatsoever to who you are. They don't even care about you. That's what that word is implying. Or vex, vex or slash vexed. They both mean the same thing, but I just put the other, the E-N, the E-D at the end. This one's used quite a lot. Actually, if I give you the clue what that word means, I was going to use another word, so V. It's similar to that word. It's meaning like... But I'll get onto it now. So it means very angry or annoyed. An example for this one is don't vex me, you know. So, this word comes, or that means someone, or someone's trying to violate you. Violating, violate means that as well. It's like a violation of someone's emotions. If you're trying to annoy them or provoke them, that's what happens. You vex them. and tight you'll get it if you once you see the answer i don't think people will get it but you will if you see the answer to this question you don't really hear people say it but they do you just have to be in it's more to do with somebody's circumstances 
that's the clue I'm giving you. So tight means cheap or can't afford. So an example is I'm tight on five pounds. I'll give you later. So tight, it's just more to do with your finances. And as I said before, circumstances, that's the clue. Because it means that you're short on something. We don't have a lot. It's more opposite to bear. Bear meaning you have so much of it. Safe. I think this one will, you will get it. Because you do people, you do hear people say it. Safe meaning cool, good or sweet. It's, I got, I couldn't really think of an example for this one, to be honest. So basically I put safe because... So basically, the word safe is used when, as a greeting, say hi or goodbye, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. It's used when someone is departing from you. That they're going to leave. And they will see you another day, so means have a safe journey or don't or have a safe trip or it's it's more for to to say goodbye you can say hi by saying safe you spot hands or high five or whatever you do how you greet people so so this one obviously Everybody hears this in rap music, the British rap music I'm talking about, grime music, or drill. Drill is used as well. So, man dem slash girl dem. What do you think that means, basically? It's quite, it's in the name, basically. It means a group of boys or girls. <clears throat> so basically, I have an example called that says, "Yo, I'm with, I'm out with my mandem slash eldem." So it's basically a group of people that are hanging out with each other. long this one does get used quite frequently mainly school children use that to say something that's long <laughs> but it's not how we, they use it So long means too much of an effort, or too much time, or means it's dead. Dead kind of means long as well, like meaning is boring as well. So an example I have is this science homework is long, man. I just put science homework because I don't like science homework. I just never liked homework, so I just put it there, so... <laughs> So that's what it means. It's too much of a stretch for someone to continue doing the work. It's or the journey is too much. Like it was long can mean it's too much effort or time. Or you're exhausted, that's what it means. And gassed. This one is quite common. This one's also quite common. It's not that... It's mostly when school kids use it to describe stuff. Or some... 
your friends so and gas meaning excited so an example is I'm bare guessed about going to Fort Park you see that word bear so they're very excited to go to Fort Park so gassed is used when if you are happy or feeling a bit on it like you're just happy about something or very excited or very jubilant it's more of a jubilant feeling that you're having and it means and it could mean gas meaning that it's it's funny or she's bare getting gas meaning that she's getting too happy or she's laughing too much laughing a lot or too jolly or something clapped this one absolutely gets me all the time it depends how you use this one actually that's the con that's the main concern about this word that you don't really know what context is used i do know one but it depends on the context you have to get it so bright to know when to use it And it means funny or hilarious or unattractive or butters, which is meaning that's the slang word for unattractive. <clears throat> An example I have is disguised shoes are clapped. So that's the context is used, meaning his shoes are not, don't look very nice. So that's why I said this one is a controversial one because it has stuck more than one meaning to it. Or this collapse could mean funny and hilarious, but there's another word called jokes with this thing is jokes, meaning it's funny or hilarious, same thing basically. <clears throat> mm. Well, someone can ask you why you're so clapped, meaning why you're so funny. Well, this person's human's humour is clapped, meaning their sense of humour is hilarious or funny. Or amusing, let's say. And shook. This one, people should know. I think people get this one. Because they use it more, it kind of is, it's, it's in the words, it's in the words somewhere. That's how easy this words, you do, you, people use this word quite a bit to describe how they're feeling. So shook meaning surprised or freaked out. So... An example of it, this is man's hella shook. Hella means very shocked, very surprised, very. Man's is like some, he or she is very surprised. Hella meaning like very, like similar words bear or extremely, which I didn't mention before, so. It's in the name, that's why I told you what it means. So, waste man or waste girl. This one people have used, but I think it's kind of not used as much as it used to be anymore. And it means silly or foolish person. So, an example is. Office is Jacob, you're such a waste man. 
I just chose the name Jacob. I didn't have a name to think of. <clears throat> oh, Jacob, you're such a silly person. Or stupid person. Stupid, meaning that they're just not using their sense. They don't have any sense, basically. So, oh, I have another one. Sorry, I've forgotten about this one. Peak. So, peak. But in some, in standard English, it's meaning the, op the meaning of peak for this multicultural London English is quite opposite to the other peak, which is normally common in standard English. And it means to describe something that is good or bad, often bad. But it's mostly bad, the way it's used. So an example for that is, these are peak times, my brother. Brother meaning like friend or dude or bruv. It kind of means bruv in the same word. Or you could say dude, and that's American, isn't it? So. So it describes that something is in its depressive state. It's like someone experiencing a downfall or that's really meaning that's sad or depressing. Well, good can mean it can mean that you're peaking, meaning that you're doing okay, you're performing your best or something like that. And that's it for this video. And I hope you enjoy. It's quite new to me because I don't normally do this type of content. I do quizzes, but not talk it with you unless I do it live. And I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.